Hello, Orbis here, and today I'm going to be doing another uh, ranking every track on the album from worst to best. And today I'm going to be doing Angles by The Strokes. Um, I think this is a very interesting album uh, in The Strokes discography. It's sim similar to First Impressions of Earth in the sense that it's them trying to change things up a bit, do, do a different style. Um, First Impressions of Earth was uh, leaning more, uh, I'd say it's more heavy rather than the, the usual garage rock they were doing. So that, up to that point, it's more just traditional alternative rock. Um, but with angles, it's kind of the, the other end of that. It's like, uh, it's, it's introduced elements of electronic music and um, pop music kind of, and you see a lot of synths and stuff. So as a result, I think it's one of the Strokes' most interesting albums. Um, it's made, you know, I don't think it holds a candle to the Strokes classic albums like Is This It and Room on Fire, but um, it's, a, it's always a fun listen and it does have a few really, really good tracks. Um, when I was coming out of the ranking, I realised I don't have a ton to say about each track. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's just because I'm not as familiar with this album. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through all the tracks, ranking them worst to best. And uh, yeah, don't get too mad. So at the bottom I've gone with Metabolism, which surprised me, um, it's a lot lower than I expected. I just think it's the least memorable and interesting, it's, it's maybe the most traditional sounding album, uh, song on the album, um, so yeah. Next up I put Two Kinds of Happiness, it's okay, um, and You're So Right next, uh, again, it's decent, but I don't know, they're better songs on there. Okay, next up is Games, which is decent, pretty decent, um, it's very synthy. So, uh, next up is Life is Simple in the Moonlight, the closing track. It's um, it's one of the slower, more ballady ones, and it's, 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 uh, I think it's great. And uh, next up I put Call Me Back, another kind of slower one. And I think this is a great song. Um, I guess what puts it lower than some other tracks for me is just that it's Sometimes I feel like it can drag a bit, but it's a great song. And next up I put Gratisfaction, which is a fantastic song actually. Um, maybe slightly underrated. Uh, yeah, I've, I put it up there with some of the best songs on this album. Um, and now we're in the top three. And these three are pretty interchangeable. They're all fantastic strokes, tracks, and some, some of my favorites that they ever did. But number three, I've put Undercover of Darkness, which is probably the most popular one, but um, I think it's fantastic. I guess I just like the other two more. And number two, I've put Taken for a Fool, which is perfect song, really enjoyable. But at number one, my favourite song there, I've gone with the opener, Machu Picchu, which I don't know if that's a common choice for a favourite song on the album. Yeah, I don't think it was released as a single but I think it's just as good as the actual singles and um, yeah, when I listened to this album today to do this video, I was like, yeah, um, I'm a okay fitting this at the best. Uh, like I said earlier, I could easily put Taken for a Fall under the cover of Darkness, maybe even Gratisfaction. But yeah, Machu Picchu is the one I'm feeling today. I just think it's fantastically enjoyable. So there you have it, that was my ranking of every track on Angles by the Strokes from worst to best. Let me know your opinion on my ranking and also what your ranking would be and I'll see you next time. Um, the next track from is Changes. Is that what it's called? No, Come Down Machine. Uh, I'm not going to spoil my opinion on that album, but that is definitely an interesting album. So hopefully I'll see you soon and take care. Goodbye.